woman, I will always be true to my unique existence, so which is against violence, any kind of it, and is always hungry for knowledge and education and is responsible for spreading love. Try to help other women, try to encourage other women, try to elevate and lift other women. As a woman, I will always want to be a support and advocate for other women. Through the years, I have seen so many women struggling by themselves, uh, ending by being isolated just because they were going through and they were, were fearing of the judgment of others. I want to be that sister that you can go to and you can come to with whatever matter you are going through, whatever challenges, whatever battle that you're going to. I want to be the person that we are, you're going to battle with. Trust myself. I will always trust my gut, trust my instinct. I will always trust that intuition that women are so lucky to be born with. So I will always be having to prove my womanhood and that's part of what it means for a trans woman to be a woman in this day and age, because we're constantly having to prove ourselves. Um, I know cisgender women have to prove themselves too, but they don't have to prove that they're genuinely a woman. They don't have to constantly prove their gender the way that trans women do. And most trans and non-binary people have to do in this world. The original human. What I mean by that is the primordial ocean life forms were female. We women carry the DNA from the original human mother. The males do not carry that DNA. We do. Our ovaries are filled with millions of eggs and every single one is female. We vote for women every time we have a baby. But sometimes they get a Y chromosome. You know, sometimes we spin off those males to cross lines of women. And the matriarchal cultures here in the Americas uh, always emphasize the elders, the grandmothers, the, the women. And it was the youngest daughter who inherited everything in some of these indigenous populations because she was expected to live the longest and could take care of the elders. So uh, it's interesting. I myself took my mother's name because I wanted to be as matrilineal as possible because I do see us as human beings being primarily female. And I believe that, you know, we should, it makes sense to carry your mother's name. Prior to DNA tests, you couldn't prove who your father was. You could certainly prove that you came from your mother. See you tomorrow with another episode of International Women's Week Celebrations.